anything change here? Hello. Not very tasty. Okay, whoever it was went behind the tombstone. So that's what we need to do. Now we know that we can go behind the tombstone. So we go all the way down here then. Went down once, went down twice. Turn to the right. Go behind the tombstone. What do we have back here? Can we go left? Oh, there's things. Candles. Anything important about these candles? Oh, I locked on. He's saving their eyeballs. He is legit saving the eyeballs. That is gross. anything there. Can't click anything there. Go ahead and go over this side then. Why is he murdering people for eyeballs? Hello you. Is that an ear over there as well or is that a tongue? Placed on a dish. This is a hellish ceremony by vengeance performed by a psychopath. Okay. That's you. Let's check you then. If I am something I'm disturbed by a shadow. Okay. So nothing there. Which means we need to go this way. Right. Nice graveyard. Oh, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Just what I wanted. Okay. Let's go this way. What can we see here? Oh, this does not have any sign of its original form. Okay. I'm just jamming on him several times now because I don't want another mistake like the stupid skull one. I've actually not looked up a lot of hints in this so far. Just the two to figure out how to get to these scenarios. There's a gravestone at the dead end. There's nothing dead end. Okay. We are safe there. this way and we'll go down this path instead ooh skeletons oh he's got an eyeball He's jumping over gates, I guess. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna have to go find this murderer. I've got a bone to pick with him. That's not the funny bone. I don't even find this humorous. 
There is a strange piece of flesh. Can't even pick it up. What the heck, game? There's a wall. It looks like it could be broken. Hmm. I guess I'll just walk around. That's kind of still been annoying. We can see a door in the mirror, but he won't do anything about it. Thank you, Mr. Narrator Guy. Ooh, okay. So, we got this area up here. Another eyeball. Is this a human eyeball? Yeah, I'd assume so. That's a hole. human. These are pictures. So one of the tombstones open for her flower? Okay, we've seen it. Yeah, I've watched it again. Nice. What do we need a flower for? Is she the old lady? Perhaps? The only one with her eyes still? Maybe. We got giant crosses blocking our way. Even God saying, don't go on with this game. I don't think there's anything we can do here. No, I do not think so. Do, 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 nope. Okay, turning around. We'll go this way. What do you say? Can't read you. Okay. Where's that tombstone? Were you over here by chance? I think so. Up, we get that flower. And we can go past those crosses. Okay, and... Thank you, game. Now we're just gonna have to walk all the way back. But we didn't know we could cross the crosses beforehand. Pa. That is folly, I say. Around we go. Oops. Okay. Now we want to go left. Do 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 do. Into the forest again. Oh, that's a nice little house. Anyone home? Cozy little home. He looks like he's a sophist. Sophisticated, this is a sophisticated person. This record player is playing familiar music. Hey, it is playing familiar music. That's the same music that was playing in that door puzzle. Da 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 da. I actually like that sound. Is that like a, a real? I don't know who I am. If I try to remember, I get splitting headaches. I am the murderer. I went from one journey to another in order to find my past. I thought I could find the key to open the door to my closed heart someday. Those of the journeys were added to my heart. There, I arrived at this village. The minute I entered, the next emotion of yearning and disgust welled up in my heart. This place was something to do with my past. I was convinced. It's not just yearning, but also a feeling as if I had found a box. But I was forbidden to open like Pandora's box. I must regain my past, whatever it may hold. Otherwise, I will continue looking for the lost past forever. So, we'll go through the door. Hi! Please come in. Th thank you very much. When I went inside the house, my yearning and disgust grew stronger. Is anything bothering you? Anything bothering you? I can see your reflection, you're not a vampire. Something about the girl bothers me. Is there anything that attracts your interest? No, but for some reason this house seems so familiar to me. 
You may think it's odd for a stranger like me to say this, but it's true. It seems so familiar, very, very familiar to me. I don't have any memories of my past from birth through the day, though I found myself being taken care of by a kind old couple. The old man said he found me in the mountains one day extremely depressed. He felt sorry for me because I did not remember anything, so he took me home and he and his wife raised me. While I thanked them for attending to me, I was anxious to get out about myself. Find out about myself. I decided to leave on a journey to find myself when a couple, the old couple passed away. I, revisited, I visited as many towns and villages as my feet would take me to. And now I came to this village. As soon as I entered this village, my heart was filled with mixed emotions of yearning and disgust that I have never experienced in other places. I am sure this village has something to do with my past. You have gone through a difficult time. By the, by, by the way, we are somewhat similar even in our looks. I wonder if it is rude to say that this, this to someone I've only just met. You must be tired. You should rest at my house. Thank you for so much. I thought this person might know me. Do you know me by any chance? No, I don't, unfortunately. Is that so? No, you don't. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, boy! <laughs> we were orphans? Where is that garden? Is that girl me? And who is the other girl watching from the window? The mirror merely reflects the interior of the room and if, as if nothing happened. I'm sorry to ask you the same question again, but are you sure you really don't know me? No, I don't know you. Alright, if you say so. She doesn't know us. I think we're twins. Big sister. Yes. Is this girl my sister? I remember seeing this hill. What do you think of him? Who are you talking about? Jans. Jans, that sounds familiar. I can't remember who he was, but I feel he was very dear to me. Hmm, I think he's a nice person, but I don't know him well. What is it about Jans? Well, that girl must be me. I am certain that this house is trying to tell me my past. If so, who is the other girl? My little sister? Hi. You're standing there. Please? Take the tea. Have some tea while it's hot. You will be refreshed right away. Thank you, I will. But it's got endorphins in it, we're gonna die. Okay, I put my lips on the cup and smell the refreshing aroma of the herb. Hot liquid touched my lips, I noticed the scent hidden in the herb's aroma. I moved the cup to my nose and smelled it one more time. The life aroma of the herb was all I could smell, was I mistaken? I tried to drink again and once more smelled the herb. At that moment I noticed the very subtle sickening smell. This smell? I instinctively felt that I should not drink it. What's wrong? Drink some, you'll feel better. I know, but it's still hot. It has to be hot to work. You should trust me and drink it. No, I really can't drink anything hot. It's okay now, I'll help you. Uh... <laughs> no! I don't want to drink it. Drink here, swallow it, bitch! What?! Ah! What's going on?! What? What? I fell in love with Yans. Really? That's wonderful. Just wishes, if you need help, I will be there for you. Are you sure? Thank you. And then we weren't there for each other. Stay calm and listen to me. Sure. I really worked hard to bring you and Yons together. To make it happen, I saw Yons often. And without knowing it, I found myself falling in love with Yons. Yons also fell in love with me. I don't know what to say to you. I'm sorry, I don't think my apology will be enough, but that's all I can do. You are a liar. You said you didn't like Yons. You said you would help me. You were the only one I trusted. You're right. I am sorry. Yons is cruel too. I don't trust anybody anymore. I 
I'm very sorry. Stop it. Apologies don't do any good. I don't want to see you anymore. I couldn't help it. I am a woman just like you. Love can't be calculated. I fell in love and couldn't do anything about it. How can you be so cold? What about me? It's about time you look after yourself. I am tired of taking care of you and you were the one who got me into this. What can why can't you live your life and think for yourself? Isn't it your life? You're so constantly saying, Sister, help me. I'm sick of it. Sister, stop it. S sister. got a knife. Nina. You are Nina, aren't you? Sister, you seem to have regained your memory. I was surprised when I saw you again. I didn't imagine you would be alive. You were always kind. You were good in everything. I loved you so much. And you took everything from me. Love of our parents, the dream from the future, and the one I loved. I started to hate you. I wished you were dead. That's why I killed you. I am now living as you. Nobody noticed it. I am sorry, sister, but I took everything from you after I killed you. Including that man. Yans? She killed Yans! No, poor Yans! Because I had the right to do it. A pretty and kind pink big sister and an ugly and dark younger sister. That's how people looked at us. I yearned for you, but eventually my hatred took over. Even if I pretended to be you, I was still myself. I could not change. So I decided to gouge out the villagers' eyes. That way they couldn't see me. And then I was able to continue being you forever. Until you showed up here. I was really happy. I was enjoying every day for the first time in my life. So sister, you must die one more time. Don't take away my happiness. I'd rather not die. I was horrified to know what became my sister and all the people around her. My sister was watching me from the window and waiting for me to call her to the birthday party. I said I would help her, but I got engaged to the man she loved. I may have been the one who made her become a murderer. Nina, this world is filled with sorrow. That's why we must forgive each other. What? What are you talking about? I'll forgive you for trying to kill me. So please forgive me, Nina. <laughs> hey guys, uh, yeah, so right in the middle of the scene, but uh, I was video editing, which has been a while, let me tell you. Um, and when I got to this part, basically what happened was, at this point, the audio crapped out. So this is me from the future, uh, coming back in, and just try kind of filling it in. I've been having a lot of issues with video editing, so, bleh. Anyway, so I'm going to continue on the scene then. That's ridiculous. You must die. That's the only way. Oh no, we're going to be stabbed. Ooh. She must have stabbed herself. What happened? Why did you do it, huh? Why did you do it? I can't find the uh, way to talk to her. Hello? Uh, where do I click? Oh, there we go. Sister, what am I doing? It hurts. Nina, why did you? Uh, this is the way it should be. Nina, you know, I am sorry, did not un understand how. You don't need to apologize, just like you said, we must forgive each other. I don't know, it's not even a bit. It's just like good old days when we used to wear the same clothes. Dot, 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 dot. I was asked for forgiveness for mom now when I was able to be here after. Do you think they will forgive me? Don't worry, everyone will forgive you because you have changed. Sister, don't say any more. Just wanted to, uh, hated you and I loved you so much.
and the demon popped out of her. So basically that is the scenario. And like I said in that little cut in, uh, yeah, I've been having some major issues with uh, getting the, well first of all, the game footage itself, I'm sure you've realized by this point, is like off compared to the actual video. So the audio is not synchronized with the video to begin with, and it recorded that way. I can't do anything about that. But then my audio files are also not matching up with the actual stuff that I've recorded. Like, it's a little off, and like, I'll say something before the line even pops up. And I've been trying to edit that, and I've just been having a terrible time with it. But, uh, more of that in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all then.